In this video, we're going to show you how to identify the compressor terminals. If you took the NATE test for NATE certification, you might have seen a question like this. You purchase a hermetic compressor from a local parts house. The terminals are not marked. You take the following ohm readings on the terminals. A to B is 20 ohms. A to C is 15 ohms. B to C is 5 ohms. There was an infinity reading between all terminals and ground. Which terminal is the common terminal? This is a page out of one of the service procedure manuals that we sell at Revco. Please note the warning. The compressor terminals must not be disturbed if the system is pressurized because of the possibility of a damaged terminal blowing out and causing injury. Do not connect or connect wiring terminals or connect measurement instruments at the terminals on the compressor unless the system pressure has been reduced to zero PSIG. So again in the procedures manual it shows you taking your ohm meter and taking resistance readings on the leads of the compressor. The highest total resistance indicates the start and run windings and so your third wire would be your common terminal. The next highest resistance shows your start winding. And then the lowest resistance when measured to common indicates your run terminal. So the greatest reading is between one and two, which would be our run and start terminals, and that would be 20 ohms. Therefore, terminal three is your common lead. Then with one lead on common, the greatest resistance is to two, which is the start winding, which is 15 ohms. And finally, terminal one is our run winding, which is the least resistance of five ohms. Go to arefco.com for more videos, like, subscribe, and check back every week for new videos.